Triffin. Although we're not going up Triffin, we made it to Triffin. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm, I'm, I'm close enough for one day. Oh, where are we going now? We're walking up to Glidervach. We're going to do a wild camp and some landscape photography on Glidervach in Snowdonia. I'm with Grant at the minute. Who, uh, and we're, we're meeting a few of us hopefully later on. Well, I say later on, they're probably beating us to the top of the mountain. So we're going to meet Eilir and another Gareth potentially, and maybe even Nick later on. So there's a few of us hopefully going to make a, a night of it. But absolutely epic, epic weather. It's just perfect. Really, really tough climb coming up the... Uh, what's the name of the, the walk we've just done? That's <laughs> yeah, my Welsh pronunciation. Yeah. Penagoida. Oh, okay, I'll have to write that down. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a difficult walk, but quite uh, mainly because of the heat. It was a really, really nice walk, but stunning, stunning views. Yeah, really, really warm. So we're pretty much got to, we've done the difficult bit. We're going to head towards Glide of Arc now and uh, find some find our camp spot. Oh, I've invested in walking poles. They've actually saved me coming up the thing. They do take the pressure off your legs. Really, really good investment, but yeah on the backside now <laughs> look at that absolutely epic views around here are insane so yeah we're gonna get set up and we've got a fair few hours before uh, before sunset so it's about saying that it's seven o'clock now so we've got two hours before sunset and it's gonna be a good one Castathli Gwent. I got it right, right? I said it right. I got it right. And we beat Eilir. That was pretty much as important to get, as getting here as beating Eilir to the top. Um, found Nick on the way up, so that's good. And um, oh, what an epic evening. I'm so excited to be here tonight because, uh, well, today I've never been to uh, Glidervach before. Always wanted to. Tried a few times to climb up, but I'm so chuffed. I'm absolutely really really chuffed and look at the light i mean you probably can't see anything because it's super super bright but the light is just epic and we're gonna gonna take a few snaps now and then we're gonna find we're probably just gonna be pitching the tent down there so not far at all yeah mega mega chuffed to be here uh it's gonna be an amazing evening the the, the mist coming over over this side as well insane uh really really tough climb but well worth it <laughs> superb right then let's have a look at this Look at that. Absolutely superb. Superb. Probably one of the best evenings I've ever had. The light is just awesome. Yeah, get, forget this, get the camera out, get a quick snap. I think we're about an hour before sunset and I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some awesome light tonight. Um, obviously it's very, very misty, but um, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Get some nice, nice cloud lighting up where the sun goes down a bit more but the side light on Castle Le Guen is absolutely stunning mega mega happy <laughs> This is absolutely stunning. The light is finally catching the side of Casas de um, And it's unbelievable. We're getting a bit of mist over there as well. So I've uh, set the, uh, the camera to a, a vertical pano, just panning across F-16 as well, because I want a bit of a starburst over there. 
the star the sun is coming out through there absolutely epic it's just unbelievable we really need to get the tent set up and uh we've got about 45 minutes before the sun actually probably disappears beyond, beyond the mountain but it's uh, it's unbelievable um Isla and uh gaz have turned up as well so uh yeah it's gonna be an amazing evening um as far as settings go, I've taken the polarizer off because I've decided not to get the filters out just to do it with the pano, just to get um, a bracketed three stop bracket. So taking three different exposures, F16, uh, focusing about probably 10, 15 meters into the scene. Uh, yeah, using the tripod level on the top of the, the oh, midges. Ah, oh, it's that time <laughs> on top of the uh, the tripod just to give us a make sure the camera's perfectly steady. It's uh, it's good. It's, I think it's really, really the light was coming through, um, really, really nicely lighting up the foreground. So hopefully that will come out really, really nice. You never, you can never tell with a pan over, can you? Until you get back and look at it and go, why, why, why did I crop that off? No, but it's gonna be good. Anyway, I'll get set up and I'll see you in a sec. Look at this sunset, absolutely friggin' incredible. The light is un unbelievable. I mean, it's got, we've probably only got about 20 minutes before the sun actually goes down. And we've got this lovely mist forming down there. Absolutely incredible. I've just done a selfie on that rock over there. Had to be done, with the, looking out to the sun over there. And you've got lovely cloud or fog wrapping its, around, wrapping itself, you see that around the mountain there as well? Oh, I'm having a fantastic time. I haven't set the tent up yet. <laughs> I need to get that done. But it's just too nice. The light is just absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a couple of shots here. Wait for the sun to go down just behind that mountain then. And I think we'll get a few more photographs here. Look at the layering over there. Isn't that fantastic? Unbelievable. I have no words. I have no words. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm a little bit chuffed with this. It's uh, it's starting to go a bit cold now, so uh, yeah, you can you can feel can feel the difference, but thankfully no midges. <laughs> What's he doing in the background? <laughs> Just, he's doing a little dance here. <laughs> so we've got about half an hour before we're going to get the tent up. I think sit here, wait for this light to go down a little bit more, take it in, because where we're, the tent's going to be over down down near the side, so we won't have. It'll be in the shade down there. So, but for sunrise, we'll probably have to just leg it up and go. The, sunrise is over that side, isn't it? Oh, right. Okay. So, yeah, sunrise, we'll probably just have to leg it over there. Oh, amazing. <laughs> this light is incredible. The sun is just about to set over there, but uh, it's get, we've got some lovely mist moving around the mountains now, and it's really, really awesome. The sky's starting to go orange. It's absolutely fantastic. So my tripod head has just died on, on me, unfortunately. <laughs> it's just flipping locked up. It won't move. So I'm having to borrow Grant's tripod so I can take this shot. And I've got the camera uh, with a 16 and 55 lens on there, F8, focusing on the far mountain ridge there. Um, and it's given me ISO 200, it's given me eight, 80th of a second. So yeah, make sure the, the, the body stabilizers is off. Yep, yeah, okay, bad habit, but it's absolutely breathtaking. Gorgeous, gorgeous evening. Yeah, just gonna crop into that area there. There was, there was that cloud, which is kind of dispersed now, but there was a bit of a cloud moving around there, which I was hoping was gonna linger a little bit, but yeah, yeah. It's got some nice images here, I think.
absolutely brilliant. What an amazing trip this has been. First time camping on the top of the Gledevach and managed to get some astrophotography in as well. And we're two, uh, well, three experts in astrophotography, so uh, not my strongest uh, subject at all, but it was really, really good. Managed to get the Milky Way, my first ever Milky Way photograph. Absolutely, really, I'm delighted with that. So yeah, just had the uh, camera. Uh, I tried with the, um, the manual focus Samyang lens. Focused at uh, f2 aperture. I'm knackered, excuse me. Uh, f2 aperture just to focus to infinity. Um, it was difficult to make sure that was sharp, but yeah, really, really good. The image seemed to come out well. Got all four of us on the uh, cantilever stone. So, if, place I've only ever seen in photographs, so it was absolutely amazing to see it myself. Um, yeah, we're going to head over back over that way for sunrise tomorrow morning. So, I'll make that separate video so this one isn't like two hours long. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the photographs. It's been an absolutely amazing trip. Um, yeah, never forget it. Really, really good. So uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll get some more good uh, good uh, photography in as well. But uh, until then, I'll see you. I'll send you, put a link up there to the next. So, no, up there, up there yeah. <laughs> to the next uh, video. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the photographs. Any tips on astro photography would be absolutely very much welcome. And uh, see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.